back to Linda's Pantry and today I'm doing my post canning chat and to kind of give you a rundown of how this canning session went I think that it's important that we do this after we've done the canning because so many of us that are here on YouTube th those of you that are new to this you never get to see the end results and or what happened was it really a success what does the headspace look like all of those things um, this was 100% success. Tatler lids, absolutely incredible seals on those tatlers. All the button tops, everybody's good. And I, I, I've said this in a video before, but I definitely leave these out on my countertop for a couple of days, but I didn't even have any residue around the jars. Um, you know, sometimes you will have seepage if you go over that one inch headspace now i did not and these weren't overly it also depends okay because i've had people comment that you need to leave an inch and a half of headspace they call for an inch in the amish canning book um but i believe it has to do with the gel to fruit ratio if there's more gel in here than fruit then that gel expands pretty well so these are all they all settled at right at the one inch mark so they they really it's a perfect headspace um i will bring you in close so you can see it uh and the, i think there was one this one here was a little bit pushed a little bit above but get awesome seal the jar scrubbed up great and you guys saw the pie the the resulting pie I, it was it's so good it's tart it's a tart pie filling so if you don't like overly sweet I think you'll really like this this would make a wonderful crumble it made a fantastic pie dangerously delicious I might add pie if I'm gonna have a dessert pie will be one of them as long as it's not too sweet because you get that savory kind of pie crust to it where um, you know other sweets it's all sweet and there's no savory i really like that and i like the tartness of this just like when i do rhubarb um strawberry rhubarb i, I don't do as much sugar as some other people do but um even though they're there i mean there's a fair amount of sugar between the apple cider and the sugar but the apples are tart and the cranberries are tart they can take it so as a decadent treat and these make wonderful gifts you give two of these jars in a cute basket or buy a cute pie plate and put in all the ingredients they're going to need for a pie crust with a little recipe card what a fantastic gift okay or give them a coupon to go <laughs> buy a ready-made pie crust and uh, yeah and then they can do their own but what a great gift anyway or if you know you're giving it to them that day and they're going to open it go ahead and give them that pie crust and they can refrigerate it or you can give them the box of pie crust mix that's even better that's what i would do that's what i would do i i would i would dish up the ingredients for that with a little recipe that you add water and you're good to go it, I, so i just thought of a really cute idea myself so a little bag of the um, crust mix and uh, one of these in a cute pie plate and some clear cellophane and a beautiful bow what a great gift these are probably not going to be a gift i think they're going to end up for sure i think they're going to end up on um, the thanksgiving table as well as many many other desserts for us so I hope that it inspires you and let me bring you in and show you the headspace at a close-up angle so you really get a good idea. And then I leave these on the counter. I will label these and date them um, so I know what they are and get them out into my storage boxes. I'll probably leave one or two jars in here just so I can look and see how pretty because it's almost like stained glass with the cranberries and the apples in here. It's beautiful. All right. Come on in. I'll so aren't they you. pretty? This is what I'm talking about. That's a perfect one inch headspace right there. Now this one, was it this one? Yeah. This one is a little bit fuller. It's right to the top. 
except over here it's not quite to the top. You got a little bit of gap there. Oh, look how pretty! I love this. And then, yeah, one inch headspace. Perfect, perfect. You just have to, you know, you have to, you have to do it enough to know how much that clear gel expands. And some of these jars got a few more cranberries than others, but I don't mind. On my pie, I added quite a few cranberries um, to the filling that I had left over. So again, I hope it inspires you. I hope that you'll come back in the comments section below and you'll let me know if you've ever canned apple and cranberry pie filling or if you've had any challenges with pie filling. If you've ever used tattlers, let me know that. I'm going to leave you a link down below for some tattler lids. Absolutely must have in the home can pantry. I do not believe that we should be without reusable lids just in case what happened this summer and fall happens again. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.